The reason people's business does not grow is usually because their systems fail uh, or there's a lack of systems. It's not because people are not working hard. That's what I wanna talk to you guys today about systems and how important they are to the growth of your business. What's up guys, it's Enrique. PRG Real Estate Brokered by EXP. And we're talking about systems today. And I wanna give you uh, an example so you guys can follow me here. Uh, our team has been growing pretty rapidly. Uh, we've been adding probably three to five agents onto our team every single uh, month for the last maybe six months or so. And and as we continue to go, there's more agents are gonna come on. Our agents on our team are attracting more agents and it's kind of this domino effect. So one of the problems that we have been having is that when an agent comes on, there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to happen to get them onboarded, to get them you know, signed up with our brokerage, to get them into our systems, to create profiles in our CRM, to get them leads assigned, to create all their marketing material. Um, so a lot of workload has been falling on our marketing director. In the beginning when he only had like maybe one or two a month, he was able to keep up with you know the new agents coming on, plus servicing all our existing marketing stuff that we're doing. But now that we're adding like say five agents in a month, you know, things are starting to slip through the cracks. And we had a long talk today about, you know, making sure we build a system around this. And this is a good example for most agents on how they run their business. Usually when things, you know, are at a low level, uh, meaning that you're not so busy, you can handle a lot of things. You know, you can take the time to kind of wing it, or you know in your mind, like what needs to happen and you'll get them done because you have a lot less volume you're dealing with. But once you start adding on like multiple clients that you're working with and multiple appointments and all these things happening, it becomes really easy to stop doing all the necessary steps that you used to do simply because you're you're just too busy, right? You're overwhelmed and you start trading time, you know, to focus on things. You get pulled in different directions and you know, you forget to do this step that you normally do and and now you're taking shortcuts. And that's what is happening with our onboarding right now. So, um, the point I'm trying to get to guys is that if you want to consistently scale your business, it has to get to a point where everything is systematized, right? Like for us, the onboarding, you know, there needs, there needs to be now a mapped out system where every single agent gets the same exact treatment. There's a checklist of every single thing that has to happen for that agent to get onboarded and up and running on our team. The same thing with your clients, right? If you're dealing with buyers, there has to be an actual checklist of everything that you follow. And as you get busier, you may need help from other people and you may need to delegate some of this stuff to other people. And you see, that's the big reason right there that most agents fail to grow their business. It's not because they're not working hard. Everyone's working hard, right? If you have a few clients you're working with, it's real easy to get overwhelmed and feel like you don't have enough time in the day. But usually it's because people are not working smart and there becomes a failure in their systems or they've never built a system and they're just winging it and you know, as I explained, it just gets out of control. So the message I'm trying to get to you guys today is that you need to start thinking of your business from a systematic standpoint. That's how we've been able to consistently scale our business and you know, double our production or triple our production. And now we're starting to double and triple our agent growth, you know, that agents that are being added to the team. It's because there is a system in place. So you can only wing it so much, eventually there will be a breakdown or a plateau in your growth if you don't have a system around it. So I hope you guys at least get this concept and get this into your mindset that you need to build systems around every single thing that you do so that you can continuously grow and you can predict where you're gonna go and you can find the holes in your systems and continue to tweak those and work on them. And it's a domino effect, guys. Sky's the limit after that. So I hope this message finds you well. Uh, I hope you go back and analyze your business and really see, am I winging it? Or am I, do I have systems I follow? Or maybe I have some really simple systems, but now I need to go deeper and tweak them and you know add other things to them or take them to the next level. That's what we do constantly you know, on, on our team is we're constantly reevaluating our systems. Probably about once a quarter, I will write down all the different departments in my business from our lead generation to our customer service to our buyer presentation to our seller presentation to our listing coordination and I'll just start picking them apart and I'll start seeing where are the holes at where are we getting stuck you start getting feedback from the team and then little by little you start tweaking them and you start making them better so hope you guys get the point hope you guys get the message if you need anything buying selling building your business feel free to reach out to me see you guys later